In order to help your pharmacy comply with the DSCSA, that's the Drug Supply Chain Security Act, as well as the government's efforts to combat counterfeit drugs in the marketplace, the ICONS added the ability to capture the data now found in the 2D barcode on most prescription stock bottles. So we've added some settings to allow you to configure the icon to match your pharmacy's operations requirements to comply with those requirements of the government. So if I select the uh, settings menu and go to the barcode tab, the lower half of that has a few different choices that uh, you might find useful. So the first one here is the stock item barcodes for RX filling. And there's two choices there. The default is allow 1D barcodes with no warnings. 1D barcodes are your standard UPC style barcodes, which um, have been present on all drugs as well as most things that you'd find in a supermarket for years. Now, the newer stock bottles contain these 2D barcodes. 2D just stands for two dimensional. It means they're a checkered board pattern that uh, is used to contain more information than just the UPC label. These 2D barcodes, in addition to this number in the UPC, it also contains the lot number, the serial number, and the expiration date. So with this selection here, if you prompt for data if a 1D is scanned, what that does is prompts your users in the pharmacy to try to scan this barcode instead of that barcode, because if they scan this one, the icon's gonna ask them to try and scan this one. And if it's not here, you can ask them to type in the data points that would have been contained in this barcode if it were there. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that, and then the next parameters that show up when you enable that are require lot number, require expiration date, and require serial number. You can choose to require any of those or none of those if you choose. So I'm gonna change all of them to be disabled for now. Require expiration disabled and require serial number disabled. So now I'm gonna do a quick um, example to show you how that works now. So if I hit yes to save my changes, just select a simple count only transaction. Uh, looks like we've enabled user login here, so I'm gonna log in with my badge. And now if I scan a old style UPC barcode, this icon pops up a screen that says, if available, scan the 2D barcode on your stock item or manually enter the data if the barcode isn't available. So I've configured all three of these items, the expiration date, the lot number, and serial number to be optional. So you don't have to type in any of those, but you can decide which of those you want to require your technicians to fill in when they're filling a prescription. So because all those are optional, the continue button is available. At this point, you could go ahead and hit the drop down button and type in select an expiration date for the, um, for the drug that you're dispensing, which you can read off the label. And then the lot number, you could click that and type in a lot number and the same for a serial number. Serial number, you're less likely to want to type in. That tends to be a fairly long number. And that is used primarily to avoid the counterfeit drugs. So every, every stock bottle has a unique serial number so they can trace back. So it's, this is uh, related to the track and trace program that the government's instituted. So now we can track who got which stock bottle. So the, the manufacturer has to track it to the wholesaler, the wholesaler to the distribution center and the distribution down to your pharmacy. And if you transfer any pills to another pharmacy, you're supposed to track it down to that level. And in the near future, you're also supposed to track down to the patient level for some items, I believe just lot number, but you should check with your regulators to ensure that you're tracking the right information. But if you use your icon, it will track all three for you, so you've got that covered. So again, I've made these as optional. So at this point, I could click continue or I could just scan a barcode to capture that information. So as soon as I scan the barcode, the icon recognizes that and advances to the count screen and it, you can see the serial number, lot number, and expiration date are all displayed for the barcode that I scanned. So if I, I'm just gonna go ahead and cancel and show you some more of the settings regarding the 2D barcodes. So again, go into my settings menu, select barcode, swipe up to get near the bottom. So this is the one we just did for stock item barcodes for RX filling. Now you've got the exact same set of choices for inventory mode. So when you're doing your physical inventory to count your stock on your shelves, you may or may not want to also have the same type of prompts. It could be useful to capture the lot number for everything on your shelves so you've got a record of that. 
So again, you can decide which of them are optional and which are required. The next set of parameters are the 2D expiration rules. That, those are defaulted to enabled, and once they're enabled, you can specify at what number of days do you want a warning to occur for when the drug is going to expire that you're attempting to dispense. So if it's going to expire in, by default, it's less than 90 days, you're, a warning will pop up on the screen letting you know that it's expiring soon. And if it's less than 30 days, it'll give you a different uh, uh, message and tell you that you can't dispense that drug. Again, that's the default. You can change it to whatever number of days you want for your pharmacy. Those are not regulations. Those are just our default values that you can customize as, as you see fit. So I've changed that one to 20 just to show you how to change it. Now if I exit and hit yes to save changes, I will do one more example here. I'm going to go ahead and log in with my badge. And then if I, this time, if I scan this barcode here, this one's already expired and you can see it pops up this warning saying it won't let you use it because it's the expiration date is passed. If I scan this one over here, you're going to see a warning saying it's expiring soon. It's less than that 90 days that it was set up in the menus. If I hit cancel, it allows me to scan a different bottle. If I hit continue, it would have gone ahead and let me dispense that drug. Then if I scan one that's not expiring soon, it just advances right into the count screen without any warnings. So those are your options for capturing the 2D barcodes. Those values are captured and stored inside the icons menus as well as being transmitted to most pharmacy systems over our interface. Now you need to check with your individual software provider to find out if they're saving that data when we send it back, but it is part of the interface for the majority of interface partners that we work with. One other feature I wanted to make you aware of is oftentimes you're going to end up emptying one stock bottle while you're filling a prescription and you need to open a second one. So the icon allows you to do that and capture multiple, uh, the data from multiple 2D barcodes for a single dispense. So in this case, I've scanned the December expiration date on my demo drug bottle here, and I'm going to dispense a few drugs. But the, the way the icon works, it wants to capture how many drugs of each lot number that you've dispensed. So in order to scan a new bottle, if I try to scan a different bottle right now, it's going to say, well, that one's the expired one. It won't even let me use it. This one is expiring soon. If I hit continue to use it, it says, well, you need to use the add to total feature before we let you switch bottles because we want to record that there was 29 from this bottle and then whatever number from the next bottle. So I'm going to go ahead and click add to total. The icon saves that quantity. We dump that off the tray, put that in a separate container patient vial. Now I can scan a different bottle, the August expiration date. Again, it's going to give me the warning that it's expiring soon. That's okay. And now it allows me to pour additional pills on the tray from that stock bottle. Now we'll have a record that was 29 from the December expiration date and 132 from this expiration date. If I wanted to continue doing that, I could hit add to total again and dump those off. And now I could scan a third bottle if needed to continue filling this prescription. At this point, I'm just going to go ahead and press finish to record that because the same process occurs for as many bottles as you wish to capture. That concludes our explanation of the use of 2D barcodes on ICON.